What's good, yo? We back, RTTV. Gang, what up, gang, sir? gang? And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash, smash that subscribe button. And download that Patreon app, man. We got full and early reactions and super early access. A lot of fire shows. We got, man, One Piece, yep. Baruto, Clone Wars. The list goes on, man. Join the family and the yearly subscription will get you a month for free. Mm -hmm. And make sure you give this video a like and have that notification bell ringing for that code yes playlist and make sure you follow us on spotify the rttv show where we talk about some of your favorite genres of music such as k-pop hip-hop r&b and much much more so make sure you follow and make sure you subscribe spotify the rttv show and we're finally here with code Gios, but Yo. this time it's gonna be a little different what's up this entire series will be exclusive only to our Patreon watchers Ooh, yes. until the whole thing is finished. So if you're watching this first episode, because it will be posted on YouTube, the same time it's posted on our Patreon, just to promote that we're going to be doing this on our Patreon. Guys, it's only going to be exclusive to our super early access tier. Okay. Um, there's 50 episodes, two seasons. So the whole thing will be on the, um, will be coming out. On a weekly basis, yep. a couple times a week until the whole thing is finished. And then we'll cycle it through our early access and full reaction tiers as well as our YouTube um, as soon as we finish it. So hurry up, go to our Patreon, Man. watch it along with us for the first time with exclusive access. Yo, is there yeah, like you see, this is what you call a generous King, uh, the anime king. Thank you. Yo, he admires you guys so much. He appreciates you guys so much. Y'all are more family to him than a lot of people. Facts. So he's giving y'all exclusive content, yo, bro. I wish I could be a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was one of the Patreons, bro. They give you exclusive content. I should ask nigga for ten dollars. I didn't even get that. Rob shit, said, man. "Fuck this. I'm about to subscribe to us, nigga." <laughs> 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 nigga <laughs> so make sure you guys sign up, man. Link is down below in the description. Without further ado, I've never seen this show. Mm -hmm. I've watched. I haven't seen it in its, in its entirety. I watched like a few months ago, like the first, I think, five episodes, just to kind of get a taste of what we could be getting into. I didn't know we was gonna do it like this. Yeah. And you guys voted on it because you guys kept recommending. Yeah. Re recommending it in the comments. So I watched the first five episodes. <laughs> Any of you guys watch anything else? Like the only thing I seen was comments and you bringing it up like once or twice. Honestly, I don't know shit about this show. I've seen like bits, literally bits and pieces. I have no idea what the show is about though. When did this come out? Oh, okay, oh eight. Because I was gonna say I feel mm -hmm. like this was one of the uh, animes that before I ever touched the anime on this channel, I got comments about watching Kogi as, and I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I <thought you> <laughs> Oh, uh, I was looking for animes, and um, every time this would pop up, I would always skip it because I'm Joe. Always was like, "Yo, we might do it," and I mm -hmm. see, so I. Feel it's that. in a lot of top things you need to watch. Yeah, it definitely is. It's like a, people recommend it alongside like Death Note and stuff like that. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, so would you say like is a di dialogue based show or more like a mesh of a action and dialogue? I think it's a mix of, of between both. From what I've seen, I only seen yeah. the first five episodes. Who knows? It must be, it must like turn up after that. Mm. Um, but I hear like I hear it's really good, and I hear it's like among the best animes ever created. So I'm glad to be starting this with you guys. Um, yeah, man, you guys ready? Let's, Let's get, get it. Episodes one and two: Code Geass, Leluch of the Rebellion. Yo, the way you pronounce shit, my nigga, I don't know how you do it, bro. Nigga, I can only see Lelouch. I can't see the rest of that shit. Lelouch. I would have been like, Lelouch and the Rebellion. I'm watching uh, Netflix. <laughs> Dub. Oh, Dub Gang? Yes, sir. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, that's lit. Wow, this guy is <laughs> fucking amazing. Wow. wow. <laughs> What'd you say? So this is like real Attack on Titan episode one shit. <laughs> With the glimpses and all that. Yeah. Oh, oh, they bring in politics. Oh, it, oh, this is 2010. They look like the, it kind of like reminds me of Gundam. Yeah, for real. Yeah. This is our first Gundam type show. Yeah, yeah. together. Is mecha anime. What the way they call it? Like mecha animes. Mecha, mecha anime. Yeah. Okay. Bro, the whole world attacked them at once. B. That's terrible. 
Obliterate Britannia! That gives me Attack on Titan vibes, though. But damn, though. But this is like fully in the future. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Like, Seven. Evan's saying I'm going to obliterate the Titans early. Early on reminds me of him saying that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, they're all grown up. Lelouch. This animation doesn't remind you of Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Hell yeah. The spe- like the, the how face. skinny they are, their yeah. face, yeah. Yeah, the hair. The hair, he looks like... <laughs> the eyes. He looks like uh, Kaiba. So is Lelouch that little kid? All grown up? I believe, yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> that nigga's like, I'm gonna get inside of the whole system and <laughs> fuck him up from the inside. And it's funny because he was like, and you're going to start with the king? And he laughed at him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it's Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so that's Area 11, but just in the future. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, seven years later. Yeah, I didn't know if it, that was in the same location. That's the only thing. The Viceroy. <laughs> I feel like I can't trust trust the voice Viceroy in any show. They got mm-hmm. to Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, you were op everywhere. Wow. Here we go. Oh, them fits is fire. Ah, it's time for the action, baby. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if that's an ideology you could use in chess. Don't do that, because I'll four-move checkmate you. <laughs> <laughs> what the that. fuck? Damn. Imagine you crashed the whole truck. Oh, they must have stole some fucking... Some type of cargo or something. Oh. I should might go inside Lelouch. This kid. It's funny how he's the first one on the scene, though. Somebody should do this. This thing is like, yo, this idiot is ready to talk about somebody should do this, but no way going down. Oh, I went inside of him. She found her son. Are you in there? Stop, I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> See, he, not, he went to help them. Yeah, but that's why I'm not doing shit like this, bro. <laughs> Like, he went to help, but you didn't even know that the people that you're helping is pure criminals. Criminals. Or just stole some shit. Oh! Wow. That's dope. That's fire. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. This is fire. Mecha animes. I grew up on Mecha <laughs> animes. Gundam shit. Well, I haven't watched an anime like this in. Guru Lagan. I just finished Guru Lagan. It was on this time. Oh, Guru Lagan's like this the whole time. All right, word. Okay. Oh. oh. I'll be here to be in this. Why didn't he just drive that shit? He might have took the key with him or oh, some shit. I'll be tight. It's really crazy how people live there. Mm-hmm. You seen the buildings all sideways yeah. and shit? Like, so they didn't even clean up the whole area 11. There's only certain parts that they actually have it all like fucking oh, with buildings. Respectful. You hear the the, the term like honor, honorary Britannians is like honorary Maledians. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Them monkeys too. Oh, shit. And he kept calling them. They kept calling them 11s. He was referring to... He was referring to the girl as you 11s. Yeah. Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, yeah, he's assuming that. He's with the op. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that was his boy from back in the day. Oh, shit. They unleashed oh, shit. it. What the fuck? What the Wait, fuck kind what of poison the hell? Like that? <laughs> what type of? 
a girl. Oh, they lied to try to cover it up. Yeah. Oh, I see what oh, they did. Oh, shit. It's like oh, an experiment wow. that they made or some shit. And those guys aren't actually terrorists. Oh, this show's fire. You see, Damn. they keep calling them monkeys, nigga. That's definitely a thing. I feel you. A uh, bad word. Yeah. Nah, this is crazy. Yeah, this is tough. Oh, don't get clapped. Oh! oh. They really shot this <laughs> nigga, bro. Damn. This nigga is crazy. Kill the student? He's about to sacrifice his life. Self-destruct. Oh, shit. Long live Japan, no way. This anime is fire. Dan, this turned into a shit show, bro. Oh, wow. Crazy. Yo. Like, you can't let this shit get out, bro. Fuck that nigga. They don't, they'll take me my title. Oh, my God. Nah, bro. Nah, oh, yo. What the fuck? What they taking out the, the hood. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. It's like their Holocaust. Never Th- this is tapped, bro. <laughs> they just bodied Abuela and Abuelo, nigga. That's fucking crazy. Ay, ay, ay. Just killing innocent people. This nigga's talking about he hasn't had this much fun. That's tapped. Look at this nigga smiling. Nigga, they committed a whole genocide for this girl for nobody can find out about this shit. Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> bro. This is body and everybody. Wow. Nah, this show's tapped, bro. They just yeah. killed a baby, nigga. <laughs> She's gonna use her powers and fuck them up. She's not gonna let them kill him. They're not. Wait, who is it. she? Yo. This show started off dark as shit. Had a feeling she was. Oh. Had a feeling she wasn't dead. She's gonna use her powers. Yeah, she just transferred all her powers into him right now. She's touching his soul right now. Lelouch. Alright, let's go. Yes. I'm accepting that motherfucker. What's he about to do? He's about to turn up. Hey, he took the blue pill. Matrix. Kill those who are prepared to be killed. What the? Shadow. Shadow guns. Die. Oh <laughs> my god. What the fuck? What the? Yeah. <laughs> it's my kind of what? shot right here, nigga. The? Kill yourself. I've lived a lie. <laughs> yes, sir. I should have fired yo. Oh, that nigga put a light Miyagi in his face right there at the end, like, yes, <laughs> I can control the world now. Answer me, you're on. Yo, you literally asked me the question and didn't say shit. I ordered you to come out at once. Who the hell do you think you are to order me? <laughs> <laughs> I should have not worked on her. <laughs> Mm, he's experimenting. Nah, that's some real death note shit right there. What? It only works when I look her dead in her eye. Wow. It's like he literally wow. rewired her brain and stuff to literally condition her to do that. Boom, done. Robbed her. <laughs> <laughs> Quick look. Imagine robbing people when they just giving you your shit. <laughs> oh, he survived. Oh, he came up. What? I think they literally just gave him that because to make him forget about what he just what just happened and shit like that. The situation. I'm gonna promote you and shit like that, so you can just forget about the fact that you just see niggas kill people. 
and a commanding officer shot you. <laughs> All those paws and they still got machines. My boy La Lucha about to save the ghetto. That I was, <laughs> he about to save the hood. The man of the hood, yeah. <laughs> Phone look like a ladybug. Phone look like a digivice. That's dope. You see how her phone just turned into an earpiece? You mean like a Bluetooth? <laughs> yeah, imagine if a Bluetooth was an earpiece all in one. That's what I'm saying. That's what her phone was. It just boop, boop. She's really holding it down by herself right now. Mmm. Came oh. off the cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my he's god. Fucked. He's fucking them up, bro. Get him. He's like, fuck. Yep. I lost this one. <laughs> he's like, I am out of here. Wow. Wow. Oh, my oh they god. came up. And he funded this shit out there. Nah, that ass. He really funded the resistance, yo. That's yo, just, he's yeah. nasty. He really, literally just got into the field and he's pulling all the strings right now. It's like I mean, real life chess. That's yeah. like, oh, that, that king. Yep. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I'm trusting that dude. Oh, oh, he's fucking smart, my nigga. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think they died, though. They didn't make it out. Fuck the Britannians. Wow, he's really operating like his chest is moving his pieces. Like, all right, attack right here. Oh, Damn. Damn. cracked him. We clearing him out right now. This is dope. <laughs> he's heated. I think it just intercepted the whole communication. Yo, we should try this right now. Lelouch is going thing, in. Lelouch is nasty, bro. Patrick Mahomes needed this coaching last night. Nah, I fuck with Lelouch. Yeah, he's <laughs> mad smart. <laughs> Like what makes him so dope is like he doesn't he's not even on the front lines right now. He's just having people operate his plan right now. Yep. They're done. They just put all their pieces in one place right there. Check. All them. Boop. Wow. Quick shit. Oh That's crazy. my god. <laughs> that was he's some like Lay Yagami. Yeah, that was some Lay Yagami type of moment. Especially that laugh. I will take this chip. And <laughs> eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who may be operating Lancelot? Um, dang, his boy his from boy. back in the day. Yeah, because mm. he just asked him, like, yo, you want to use this shit? Mm -hmm. Lancelot looked like it's about to be fire. Oh, shit. They gave him the drip. That's fire. <laughs> wow. That's, that's yeah. fire. Oh, wow. This fit is fire. And then the flies and the make um, outfits. Big drip. Yo, Rob, you look like you got that in your closet right now. You sound like you're mad that you don't have it in your closet. Nah, that's latex. I don't wear that. Nigga, like, you didn't see that it adjusted to his size. That shit is crazy. That's the future of fashion. Woo! That shit My is God. fire! Big drip! That is so fire. That look like straight out of Power Rangers. Yo, it looks like a giant Meta B from Metabots. <laughs> 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 this anime some next level shit. Future. In terms of the things they're using, this shit's crazy. Imagine that's how war is going to turn into, nigga. People operating into, like, bots like this. You I think outside. eventually it will be. Nah, I look outside and see a Megazord, <laughs> yo. It's going to be a real problem, my boy. <laughs> I, yo, all I know, like, my house, my house got to be insured for shit like oh, that. Oh, that shit is wow, fire, he bro. He got a three-point stance. Nah, he's in a 40-yard stance. Nah, that's a three-point Nah, that's a three-point stance. Oh, wow. oh, oh, quick shit. Knock it really your block some Gundam shit. This is nostalgic vibes. Oh, he didn't account for this. He's going to have to get in the field. He's going to have to fight his boy. What if he uses his power to like evolve his mecha? Mm. Oh, this unit is nasty. He, oh, oh my gosh, bro. 
He don't know what he's getting himself into. Yeah, because right now he's they're, not, wilding, though. they're he's... not getting instructions anymore. Yeah. He even saw, I don't think he's really prepared to fight something like this. He's definitely not. Yeah. 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 Wow. This nigga is wow. That shit is lit. Oh. Close on the shit out of him. What's the source of that shit? It's like a spark. Mm -hmm. Only if you knew. I know, right? <laughs> 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 They don't even know. That's right? really crazy. They don't even know. Oh, no. Oh, shorty. I must eject. So he's already contemplating mm -hmm. about, like, the L he took. Like, how could I have done that better? Yeah. Oh, that well, was fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he's a real one. Oh, damn, this nigga got into the ranks. <laughs> ah, he's nasty. Oh, no. Damn, they found him. Oh, hell nah, no. They're going to save him. Homie's going to save him. Hmm. He got into the prince's. He got into the prince's personal transport and hypnotized him. Oh no! Nah, he just he just put a gun to him and said, "Say that shit." Lelouch. Whoa, whoa, Big brother. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. What the fuck? Oh, that was lit. That was lit wow. two episodes. Wow. Nah, that this um to be honest, I don't remember it. I just, I think it's just when I watch shows with you guys, it shit just hits way different. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like real shit, cause I don't remember that shit being this lit. And I really loved how they draw on the conflicts on our prior conflicts, um that are real, like yes. with Britain and Japan, mm -hmm. and like. Even I'm drawing mm, similarities between um, Attack on Titan with the honor, honorary Marleans that I was saying before. Mm -hmm. uh, the dude that, I forget his name, who drove the White Knight, he is an honorary 11 yep. or whatever. So that that right there, I was like, wow, like a lot of animes do draw inspiration from a lot of popular animes. And I, I, I really enjoy seeing that. And the interpretation of it was sublime. Like, I feel like. There's so many things that, like, the one thing that really captivated me, though, I'm not going to front, was just, like, the military conversation of terms of, like, how they try to operate, retaliate, and, like, how they maneuver on the field and stuff. Like, like I'm a person, I like I'm, I like Jarhead. I like, like, a lot of war movies, Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. So I love to hear, like, the communication of how they go about, like, combating each other, different, like, strategies. So it's cool hearing that with this type of technology and, like, this show, I like the fact that everything's new to us because, like, this is, like, their interpretation of how 2010 would be right here and their technology of it. So, it's just pretty yeah. fire, bro. Yeah. So, first of all, one thing that I do want to acknowledge is the animation. Now, I got so many different animes just simply off of the animation. Like, for example, we brought up Yu-Gi-Oh! in the yep. beginning. And then the the mecha, how it looked like Meta B from the meta, from Metabots, right? Yeah. Just off of that alone, I'm sold already. Mm -hmm. Off of that alone, I'm God. sold because this is a type this is a type of animation that I used to like seeing, like within like shows like Yu Gi Oh and Digimon. And I used to really rock with those shows yeah. back in the day. Another thing too is I like where the stories I like where the stories going, how they're talking about we used to be Japan, but then we were conquered by a whole by Britannia, and they took everything from us and now they treat us like low life citizens i like where the storyline is going and i like that um i like that everything where it just started off it just started off like with the bang already yeah. and how the main character was able to play such a game of chess and this was his first time ever in the battlefield simply off of the notion and the feeling of how he felt about taking out Britannia when he was a kid. So it's just going to get more interesting. And the plot seems like it's going to get even more like it's going to get more crazier because even at the end here with the, the shocker, it's like, yes, I'm back, your highness. 
and I'm going big to change brother. everything. Yeah, big, yeah, big brother, brother like, like where does it come from? Nah, I don't know. This might be this might end up being my favorite anime that would do it. <laughs> just based off those first two episodes. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, those first two episodes was definitely super fire. Um the storyline is really intriguing to me. Like, yo, for this secret right here, we'll wipe the hood out. Yo, go over there, kill everybody. I don't give a damn what's going on. Go kill that ghetto. Mm-hmm. Now, this dude is stepping up. The only thing that intrigued me was like, if that girl gave him that power, why didn't she try to use it to her advantage at that time? You know how like he could look you in your eye yeah, and make yeah. you do anything? But I thought she it was interesting. Covered or some sh- but yeah, Did she, she was able to talk after, though. I yeah, because she know. talked to him and she yeah. was like, yo, here you go, bro. I got mm-hmm. you. I'm going to give you this power. Just do one thing for me. Well, I guess maybe that was in his head, though. So maybe she didn't well, literally say that. Well, you know what it was, too? I think that before, right when he touched the truck, remember the, the a girl's voice was like, a girl's voice was like, oh, um, what you gonna call it? I found you. So maybe he inherited that power or it's a power that's just in his blood. Oh, she line. was there directly looking yeah. for him to pass down that power. Yeah, because so. mm-hmm. once it came to the moment that she was able to do it, she grabbed his hand and stuff like that after she got shot and was like, yo, you want to make this deal, bro? We, I, I'll give you this power, but we don't know what was the contract. Like, we don't know, like, what, what was it? For exactly. So we haven't got that revealed yet. I get it. Yeah, definitely rocking with the first two episodes. Um, This is definitely... Uh, the anime that I grew up on um, with uh, the Gundam wing style, like Guru Lagan, that type of battling in the skies and with the machines. And um, Joel, so you said it's called Mecha? Yeah. Yeah, Mecha anime. Like, that's literally what I grew up on. And being able to see these type of fights with you guys, I just know what to expect. And it's like, I love, like, I grew up on this. Like, I love seeing pilots, like, and them fighting in it and, like, using it and then seeing it get destroyed like even when the reveal of the special weapon it was like oh you ready for the special weapon Mm -hmm. and how you everyone reacted when we seen it how fire it looked and it was so much moments i think that's one of the things i like the most about certain animes i feel like those machine designs are probably the best designs the best color patterns in anime like from gundam wing the way they used to mix and match the colors of the gundams Mm -hmm. and i from seeing because i went and It'd be the regular machines like we seen that everyone had the blue ones. And I was just waiting because I'm like, yo, I know someone's going to have to pull up with the real ones. Yeah, the Rolls Royce. of. (laughs) And when it it, that moment when it pulled up and you seen him, even when he seen the machine, like, well, that's me, him hopping in and then seeing the fighting styles of it when it just hops in the air and it flaps uh, its weapons down. Like every the choreographed battle fight scenes is different from any anime when you're able to see those clash I and mean, the thing i haven't seen in this is other powers added like usually when it's like that it's no powers just it's just a weapon yeah, that we're using and seeing that he um seeing the him be able to get that power and be able to use that power with the machines i think that combination is why everyone's like yo you guys gotta watch this mm-hmm. i think it's it's evolution like i was the, the dude watching the 90s and the 2000s version of this and now being able to watch whatever i'm this came out 2006 2008 2008, 2008 watching the 2008 version of it and seeing the power i my i like i'm just thinking like imagine he uses somehow being able to use his power with the machine like i'm my mind is just going crazy of the like sky is isn't the limit no more with where this mecha anime could go so Mm-hmm. And I also like the the fact that uh, some of my favorite animes are ones where like the the main characters could be villainous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really could definitely see Leiluch being like that, um, especially because he has the power now to control anybody. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? And um, even the the foreshadowing they're doing between him and his uh, older friend, where it's like in the very second episode you see them going at it, mm-hmm. and uh, his his best friend is an honorary Marleyan, and it looks like Leiluch is really standing for. I said honorary yeah, yeah, no, said like honorary attack on yeah. Titan. <laughs> yeah. Honorary eleven and uh Le- Le- Luch is like you can see that he has uh he's proud in his an eleven race and he approaches the prince in that way. So yeah. it's just like I really feel like the the ultimate showdown is actually gonna be between them yeah. and the fact that they're best friends, that twist is something I'm really interested in seeing. Yeah, in this show, I'm not gonna hold you like I had no idea going into this, like the level of gangster and raw is gonna be and the way they were slaughtering those yeah. people, it's like kill the my, baby. Yeah, kill him. Yo, I'm hearing the baby cry, and the baby ain't crying no more. Like I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yo, 
there got to be something that's going to like pop up, maybe save these people. These niggas, they, there was nobody popping up, nobody flying in the air, stopping these shits. These people getting body, and I, I appreciate that because it's like they're just showing the correlation of real life. Like in correlation, this real life, they niggas popping up with no cape on or no no powers and saving these people getting killed and shit. So it's like it reminds me of um District Nine and shit like that. How District Nine is like people's apartheid, and then they was able to get the technology and be able to fight back and create their own resistance and shit like that. So like it was, it's cool seeing the anime version of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think. Uh, it, it's us being able to see really what happens when too much weapons are created. I think the when weapons are like so excessive in the evolution of weapons, I think it will cause these occasions to occur because like you see in um, Terminator and such, such situations like this. And I think that's exactly why I feel like it's just so much new weapons developing and everyone's just going crazy. So I feel like the aspect of life is invaluable when weapons are such at a high value and only yeah. getting better. Like it makes life seem like nothing. Where that's why I feel like it's easy to just body everybody. Cause bro, we look at the weapons we got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, I feel you. Mm. Cause like you kind of accept the the collateral with it because like if, if the weapons is this level, it's like I mean people's gonna get bodied. That Somebody easy. gonna die. Can't, yeah. yeah, can't and, combat that. And even the mentality um, that we've been we've seen people use or. A history used on other countries is like um, we take over your country and then we demote you from the very uh, your own um, race. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're not even Japanese anymore. You're an honorary eleven. You know yep. what I'm saying? We renamed your your country to District Eleven. You're just an honorary citizen of that. You're not even a real mm-hmm. Britannian person. You feel yep. me? Because Britain is the one that took over it and they didn't even care to call them that. And the fact that the prince could call a whole order to destroy and kill a whole like group of people like nothing, mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's because of the demotion of the kind of the person you were in the first place. Yeah. They're not even from. They're not even. They're not even uh, British. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're honorary 11s. It's oh, okay if we kill them. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. That stuff that um we seen happen in World War Two and stuff like that too. So even that mentality, I really, I really could fuck with this show if they continue uh, exploring that kind of stuff. It's that, like their. It's like their um. They're winners with bad sportsmanship, in a sense. Huh? And yeah, well, I explain that. Because, like, you said that they took over their, they took over, they took over um, the thing and then they demoted them. It's kind of like, to be like, hey, listen, I don't have respect for you because I kicked your ass. I think it's more like I can control you by taking away your pride in your own country and then I can really... Dehumanize you. Dehumanize yeah, it and then still... Uh, my beliefs on your people a lot easier that way. That's I how think, colonizers okay. work. Right, cool, cool, yeah, cool. essentially right, exactly. they came That's in there, they stand, colonized, stand they said, "Yo, for sure. I'm gonna take this shit from my hometown. I'm gonna bring it here. All the things that y'all used to do, throw that shit in the trash. Yeah. Yeah. We changing everything over here. Matter of fact, don't even call yourself what you used to call yourself. Change that because that ain't nothing no more. Mm-hmm. I run this whole thing. And then it's easy, like when you're in power, it's easier through propaganda." To make y'all look bad and make my people think that what I do to you is not wrong. Exactly. Because I can make you look like you're not the you're bad people. Exactly. I like this shit too because it's kind of like um like Death Note mixed with a lot more action. Like it's gonna be like I feel like this one's gonna have like the suspense in terms of like the dialogue, yep. like a Death Note where they're playing chess and you can even see like the pieces today. Exactly, Every time he took yeah. out a different piece, oh, mm-hmm. uh, when he was doing the plan, um, but instead of just somebody writing in a book and playing the game like that. It's gonna be big ass shit in the middle of the street. Yeah. Some whole next level shit. So it's it's dope. Code Gias, guys. Episode one and two. Amazing first two episodes. The guys are fucking with it. Man, if you want to watch the rest of the series before the rest of the world, make Yo. sure you sign up to our Patreon. Super early access tier. The whole first time you watch this and post this will be on uh the super early access tier. So all twenty five drops. Of because be, we're gonna be watching it two times, uh, an episode, a reaction every time. It's gonna be on super early access tier, and then it'll be coming out on YouTube after we complete it, guys. So just remember that. Yes, sir. Yeah. But if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Nah. Make sure you kill, murder, <coughs> and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy Wells, the Anime King. Follow me at Wells in the Score RT, man. Y'all really, y'all really be putting us on to some amazing anime. And I hope you guys keep it up. Keep commenting. Yes, sir. Patrick RT. I'm already hooked. You feel me? You kill people. You feel me? You bring in some technology into the mix and shit like that. How can I not rock with it? 
Yo, it's a man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins underscore RT, and I'm telling you guys right now, this is probably going to be my favorite anime that would do it so far, because that intro was just way too fire. Thank you guys for voting for this anime, because I could definitely rock with this. I can get jiggy with this shit. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, DC. Shout out to all the people watching us early right now. And yo, if you ain't watching us early, just know we really far ahead on Patreon. So if you're watching this like later, you season, we on season two. Get over that Patreon right now. Keep rocking with us on this Code Geass journey, baby. Yo, yeah, man. All right, y'all seen this on YouTube. We already mad episodes ahead, yo. You got to pull up and experience a vibe that no one else could experience because it's exclusive. Join the crew. And yo, I realized, yo, from watching this show, I think I'm definitely going to, um, you know how you guys collect pops? I think I'm going to start collecting like Gundams and stuff. Like, mm. Those just on fire. No, I know because I'm thinking I'm like the Are you going to build them too? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> My brothers used to do that when I was young. It's your boy. It's your boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I feel you right. I'll never build them since. Nah, those shits are fun to build. Nah, yeah. I, I used to build Zoids. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Yo. Building Zoids? I used to stink at that. Yeah, I'm going to have to tell that them buy one. Ah, yo. I want to go with you. I'm going to get a Gundam, though. I got This show, I got to watch more first. All right. Well. That settles it at the round table. table.